Alright guys, welcome to lesson number 18 and now that we understand functions and aggregate functions, I want to show you guys how you are typically going to use them in a useful manner. Because if we go ahead and we look at like the items table, yeah we can go ahead and figure out the average of all of these or we can add up all the bids, but that isn't really useful. I mean it's kind of a neat piece of, neat piece of information, but that's not something we would actually use when we were making a website like eBay what we would typically do is we would want to find out not the price of all of the items on the website but maybe the average price of a single sellers items or maybe how many items did I don't know user number 11 have for sale one two three so let me go ahead and show you guys how to make aggregate functions for a single person or for a single parameter so let's go ahead and let me think of a real life problem. Say we wanted to figure out how many items seller number six was selling. And by the way, seller ID, these are just like different sellers. So let's say that my ID number is number six and I'm selling a microwave, 48 boxes of frogs, and shampooing, which I had someone else fill these out, but I guess I'm selling shampoo. Maybe it's the brand, shampooing, I don't know. But anyways, I'm selling three different items. So let's go ahead and figure out how to calculate that. So select, now the next aggregate function I want to talk to you guys about is called count. What count does is you give it a parameter and it counts all of the rows in a column. For example, if you were just to count the name in from items it would give you like a hundred items because that's how many items are listed on that website however if you only wanted to count my items you would add a clause after this for example where seller underscore ID equals six so remember my seller ID is equal to six so this is only gonna say okay count the number of items where I am the seller so now if you go ahead and hit go check it out now it comes up with that answer three items because what was I selling Oh for crap I forgot already I remember two of them like a box of frogs and shampoo what was the other one? Oh yeah a microwave box of frogs and shampoo so basically you could go ahead and count anything you can go ahead and count the name or count the cost it doesn't matter what you count but as long as you have that clause let's see if I nope copy the wrong thing so as long as you have that clause count rows from the items where seller ID equals six now what if you wanted to say okay I wonder what the average price of all of my items are well we can do that as well select average cost from items now if we run this it's gonna go ahead and figure out the average cost for all of the items on the entire website but I only want to get the average cost of my items so what we do is we would add a where clause seller underscore ID equals six now we go ahead and run that and check it out the average price of my items my microwave box of frogs and my shampoo if you add them together and get the average it's around 80 bucks pretty cool huh so that is you know a more useful piece of information maybe you wanted to give everyone their own profile and at the top you would have their statistics you would run a query like that and show their statistics right at the top of the web page so now that I got that taken care of I want to show you guys one more thing and that is how to run several aggregate functions at once now what we can do is we can just go ahead and run each thing then put a semicolon at the end run a query again put a semicolon at the end but I want to show you guys a shortcut in order to run several aggregate functions at once let's go ahead and tie everything we learned together so far and let's see let's say we were okay we know my items already I'm seller ID number six let's get another good seller sort by seller ID Okay, number 12 has a bunch of items, a hair dryer or PlayStation, a used car, a bikini, and an air conditioner. So I'm guessing that they live in Florida with those things. But anyways, that's what we're going to be, uh, you know, running our data on. So first of all, let's go ahead and count all of their items. So in order to do that, we can just go ahead and select count. Now again, since the rows don't really matter or what column you want to count because 
any column, it's going to come up with the same number, which is like five or six, whatever it was. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit count all as item underscore count. Now remember, whenever I hit as, since we're creating our own custom columns, what we're going to do is I'm just going to name it item count and therefore later on it's easier to see what because I'm going to be doing a bunch of different jobs or functions and it's easier to see if I give each one a custom name what function I ran. Now another function I want to talk to you guys about is max and min. M -I -N. Whenever you run this max, it's going to get the highest value. So if you had three different items, one was $10, one was $20, one was $30, the max would be 30 and the min would be 10. So again, max is the highest value of that list and min is the lowest value. So let's figure out which item cost the most. So max cost, of course, because we're working with price, and we'll just name this as max. So whenever we see it, we'll just name it as max. That's what I just said. Just wanted to say it twice. So now we already know average. Let's go ahead and get the average price of their items. Average cost. And I'll just name this as average from items. Now again, if we run this query right now, what it's going to do is it's going to get, it's going to count all of the items, get the maximum cost, and get the average cost for the entire website. But I only want to figure out the the item count and the max and the average price where seller ID equals 12 so that's what I'm gonna do go ahead and run this and check it out so again seller 12 who is we'll say he's my friend named Tony he's selling five items his maximum item is selling for fifty seven hundred dollars that must have been the bikini and the average price for his items were fourteen hundred and twenty one and about a quarter so now if we go over in the items table and verify this we'll just make sure that the max check it out a used car for fifty seven hundred dollars and fifty cents so that is indeed his maximum priced item so there you go that is how you can run several aggregate functions at once again the easiest way is just to put each on a new line and then make sure to give it a nickname or name it as something because whenever you're figuring it out later on it's easier to go back and look oh yeah that's the max or that's the average so that's your little tip and there you go so guys take a deep breath you are done with functions and aggregate functions thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video